be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Come on in. The Silver Blood this Inn has a plenty favorite. of strong drink and a legend we rooms. all know and love. I tell you the dragonborn comes where the voice wielding power of the angel. You, I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Finding it, that's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. They don't like us talking to people like we were. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing? Oh, yes, Waylon. Bastard could have at least gone crazy after we made our silver quota. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run a smelter. That's it. Fine. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. Little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. You want Garvey. He handles the keys for the Warrens. About the only thing that disease-riddled native is good for. Until next time. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? The Warrens isn't a place for your time. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Oh, yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. But all right, then. digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Let's go. Come on. You want to... Ha! Found you! No! Yield for suffering! No! Get away from me! Oh. Oh. 
The treasury. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. I have records I need to tend to. Are you feeling all right, dear? You will go. I'll see you in pieces. My money's on the big one. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Come <laughs> on. 
dingy piece of pit bait. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. Don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little silly. an adventurer like you. You just let old what are you Nana doing know that for you? you need anything. All right, dear. I've worked in the treasury house for almost 20 years. The treasury? I'm afraid he's asked not to be dis- Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. The Imperial agent? That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business, my city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! What? By the gods, Betrin! takes care of that. My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. Shut up. Only the gods can judge me. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna mine. Now he's out of control. Mad enough. The king in rags. While we were off fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanak was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfri came and put them down. My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most secure prison in Demriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanak down there would keep him under control. The blood of Markarth is sick. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons.
trust you with hurting any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Excuse me. What's your business here? We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send her in. <laughs> yes, Nevels. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Because my king told me to. Madanoc. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. My dear girl, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. I'm sorry, but you're not leaving. Over here. 